Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to polypaint a model made in ZBrush. So we're going to do something like this, where we have this nice transition uh, of the color. Uh, and we, I will going to learn how to create this effect with cavity mask and how we can apply uh, some uh, virtual uh, detail using alpha and standard brush so let's get to it first of all I'm going to start uh, by making the the model all the same color so uh, after you have uh, create your model you uh, should turn on mRGB, select your material. I, uh, I normally use uh, I normally use skin shade four for the base, and it is found here in the standard material. And pick a white color, and then go to color and fill object and the object is filled with uh, the selected uh, material and color that's why we have mRGB uh, on then we select the uh, subtool on which we want to paint and we select the color and turn on RGB because we are going to apply only color now so then we start to apply color to our model for the base it's it's good to have uh, uh, a big scaled uh, brush so everything goes uh, faster because the base color is the same all around so you should have a symmetry on by uh, clicking the X on the keyboard so we are going to con concentrate us on the head just to show these techniques and some tricks so uh, we have now the base color it's good to sometimes select a different shade of the base color and make some slight uh, uh, brush strokes on the base color so the base is not uh, totally unified with the one color so we get we get some uh, nice transition then uh, then there is under brush which I have ducked uh, over here uh, under auto masking there is cavity mask cavity mask is uh, by default off and it is uh, only available when your subtool has uh, subdivisions so if this cavity mask is not uh, optional to select you should subdivide your uh, subtool. So, so cavity mask when it's turned on and it's set uh, on the neg negative or on the positive uh, scale, it uh, only applies the color. Uh, in this case, when we have in the positive uh, value, it will apply the color uh, only on the, on the top. Of the of the detail that we have applied on the on the subtool. So, if you want to experience the whole power of the of the cavity mask, you should have uh, uh, some real detail uh, made by uh, creating your model. How that is applied, 
you should learn yourself. This is not a issue of this tutorial, but you can see the nice uh, effect that we get from just uh, applying this cavity mask uh, with the positive value. So if we go into negative value, we will apply the color on the on the most uh, shallow points of the of the of the model. So we give we get this quickly. Uh, we get this interesting uh, effect. Then this cavity mask is really, really, really uh, great. Then we can, we should uh, have the subtool when we turn on uh, polyframe uh, with Shift F. Uh, we should have uh, this subtool divided into different subtools so we can uh, apply color in the inner part of the mouth for example because now it's it could be a problem because if we turn the subtool uh, cavity mask off and select the color and we want to paint you see we get the color all over the all over the object. So if we press the control button and we select the lasso for selection tool and we mask the upper jaw and we click control W we now made a different sub uh, po polygroup which you can see here uh, and so now when we click Control Shift and click, we only get this upper jaw uh, shown and we can apply the color uh, more easily. So this is a nice trick how you can uh, apply this effect. So sometimes the color will be shown on the other side too. Uh, to to make this not happen, we go on the brush auto masking and back face auto mask should be on. Now this this problem should not be. You can see now this is not a problem anymore. So now if we get back to our whole uh, model and we select the teeth and we will hide the other tool, sub tool so now it's the same you just uh, have the RGB selected, no Z add, no sub tool and you just uh, paint on the on the model so here I'm going to show you how you can create some effect of uh, detail because here we don't have any any real detail so we we even if we would uh, use cavity mask we wouldn't get the effect of uh, that we are looking for here so we are going to use alpha for this so we will use alpha just select one the library for alpha is really great so you just should select something you like and on the Pixelogic uh, website there are tons of uh, different alphas that you can download and use for all your own projects. So if we uh, get this uh, by double clicking on the selected alpha, we get this put in the texture uh, area. We just go make alpha and we 
shut off uh, the texture. Now we should select the drag rectangular uh, tool and the standard brush. And we will select a different color, so we are going to see what's go going on. So now if we draw on the teeth, you can see we get the impression that there is some uh, detail sculptured on the on the base which which we know is not true but this is how you can easily create this effect by using the alphas and it's really great because the alphas make uh, for the lazy ones <laughs> a great opportunity to create the effect of uh, really putting some uh, modeling uh, knowledge into your models. So now if we uh, turn on the base mesh we can now see that uh, this is really easy to apply. The same goes, goes for the horns. Now, uh, that's why uh, it is uh, really useful if we, uh, when we model the object, we model the horns, the teeth, and everything that is uh, sticking out of the base model uh, in the separate uh, subtool because we can get uh, more control when applying color to different subtools because now if we would want to apply uh, the color to the, these horns we can but we can easily have a problem because uh, we must be very careful careful not to uh, paint on the attached uh, model part. So just to make things easier you should model these kind of uh, additional parts into different sub tools. So uh, the last thing that I'm going to show is when you when you want to select the color that is already on the model and you don't want to click and drag and pick the color you just hover over the wanted color and uh, click C on the keyboard and the selected color will be the one that the mouse is hovering over. So this was a short tutorial for how to create this poly painting. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Create and we will see us next time. Bye.